Hey everyone, welcome to Pai's Kitchen. Today we are gonna make yet another delicious Indonesian dish called mie goreng. So we did nasi goreng, which is fried rice, a while back. So today we're gonna do mie, and mie is noodles. So mie goreng simply means fried noodles. So as you can imagine, there are many, many different ways you can go about doing it. There are many different variations, lots of different things you can put in it. So today I'm going to show you the variety that the version that I like to do. And you can tell me how you like to make your mie goreng in the description below. All right, let's get started. Let's make the sauce, which is the heart of this dish. The sauce is very simple. We're gonna start with the most important ingredient, and that is sweet soy sauce. Ooh, look at that, thick and luscious. You know it's gonna be delicious just looking at the sauce. Now, sweet soy sauce, I have talked about in my Soy Sauce 101 video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. But just briefly, bottle looks like this, and you can find it at Asian grocery store. It's sweet, almost molassesy, delicious. Really important in Indonesian cooking but it is not very salty, so we're gonna add saltiness by adding soy sauce. So regular soy sauce and oyster sauce. You can also just do soy sauce and, you know, more soy sauce and no oyster sauce, but I like a combination of both. And a little bit of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil for some extra aroma. I like to add a little bit of heat and also a little bit of tartness. So I like to use this sambal olek paste which is like a chili vinegar and garlic paste. And I just like that little bit of tartness from the vinegar. You don't have to add it or you can do sriracha as well if you feel like if you have that in the house. And that is it. That is the sauce. So I'm just going to talk through the main ingredients real quickly. Noodles. So for this, I am using egg noodles and I bought mine already cooked. Okay, so I didn't have to cook it or anything, but I did just run it under cold water just to wash off the oil that they use to coat the noodles because I don't know what kind of oil that is. It's probably not good oil. So I just gave it a quick rinse. Um, for this, you can use any kind of egg noodles or any kind of wheat noodles that you like. Mi means wheat noodles, so definitely don't use rice noodles for mi goreng. Um, so I've got that and then for vegetables, you can really do whatever you want, but here are my recommendations. Carrots, cabbage, and then I like to have some sturdy greens because you know you want some greens in there. You can do bok choy, gai lan, Chinese broccoli, or I happen to have some nice kale, so that's what I am doing. And then also just a little bit of tomatoes and some green onions, which you're gonna throw in at the end. And I love adding tomatoes at the end. It adds sort of a nice, bright, juicy acidity when you eat. So this would be highly recommended. Other than that, everything else is super simple. Let's get cooking. Okay, so I've got my wok here, and as per usual, when I do stir fries, you know me, I like to cook off my protein separately so I can control the doneness of it. Um, today I'm using shrimp, and I'm just gonna sear them off. So I'm using some shallot oil here because I made some fried shallots earlier, which are gonna go on top at the end. You don't have to if you're gonna use store-bought fried shallot or you're gonna not have fried shallot, just use regular cooking oil. And no matter how well I think I dry my shrimp, they still splatter on me. And if you're gonna do sort of more bland protein like chicken breast, make sure you marinate it in a little bit of uh, soy sauce so that it has some flavor. And yes, I would also cook that off separately. I'm gonna just toss them into the bowl. And in the same wok, keep the heat sort of medium, medium low for now bit more oil. Now I'm going to add garlic, shallots, and some extra Thai chilies because I'm feeling spicy today. You don't have to. Cook that down to soften the shallots. Infuse all those flavors into the oil. All right, I got small pieces of garlic and things starting to brown. The shallots are becoming translucent. My vegetables. And if you're using tender, tender greens, you could save it for later, but because my kale, you can't overcook kale. The kale's very sturdy, so I'm adding it now. Give that a quick toss. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the sauce just to give the vegetables some seasoning love so it doesn't all end up on the noodles. And for our Patreon members who have access to the show after the show, today I'm gonna talk a little more about the cultural context of mie goreng and also some variation options that you can try at home. 
You are right. And once again, Adam is dying of chili fumes. Okay, so the vegetables are somewhat wilted now. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna just push them aside a little. Add a little more oil, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my eggs in. And break the yolks slightly. Let that set. I put the vegetables over the egg so it can sort of like smother. Give it 30 seconds. And do a flip and your egg should be browned on the bottom, which is what we want. And now the noodles go in. Woo. And right away, the sauce. And now, changing weapon, and I'm just gonna toss. Look how beautiful that looks. Colorful. And that is it. I'm turning off the heat. I'm adding my tomatoes and green onions. And by the way, if you can get Roma tomatoes, use Roma tomatoes because they're less juicy. When I was at the store, the Roma tomatoes sucked, so I had to get regular juicy tomatoes, but, but less juicy is better. And that is it. I do not want to cook the tomatoes to death because I don't want them to start getting mushy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I knew this would happen. Shrimp, don't forget to throw your protein back in. See, it's a good thing they're already cooked. Now we're ready to eat. <laughs> Look at that. Looks so good. Make sure I get lots of tomatoes because that's my favorite part. I added a lot of vegetables to this recipe because, listen, baby needs vegetables, okay? So I'm doing, I want to indulge in noodles, but I'm still like, okay, I still got to make this <laughs> kind of healthy. So here we go. Um, if you want, you can also finish it with some crispy fried shallots. Oh my god, so good. And I will include how to make fried shallots in the written recipe. It is not hard. You can also buy it, but it's so much better to make it. That's it. Time to eat. Oh. One of those things you know it's gonna be good before you even eat it. And when you eat it, it's just like, yep, it's exactly as good as I thought it would be. The sauce is sweet and salty, just the perfect combination. With a little bit of kick from all the chilies, a little tartness from the sambal and the tomatoes. It's just a flavorful, flavorful dish. And all those vegetables, make sure you pick some crunchy vegetables because those crunch is really important in contrasting the chewy noodles and all of that stuff. It's a simple, I suppose it's healthy. <laughs> There's lots of vegetables in there, um, but definitely an easy weeknight friendly thing that you can do that will please everybody in the family. So the recipe, as always, will be on pieskitchen.com. When you make it, definitely send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you have not subscribed to the show, make sure you do so you don't miss a recipe. And click the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I post a new video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time for your next delicious adventure.